Anyone who knows anything about the division of Korea will know that the country was split in 1945 along an arbitrary latitude line at 38 degrees north, the 38th parallel, with the US military taking control of the south and the Soviet Union administering the north. So it might seem curious that nestled just a few kilometers south of this line is a North Korean city south of the 38th parallel. What's more, this city doesn't look like the rest of the cities in the DPRK. Today, we'll be looking at the ancient capital of the Koryo dynasty and the only city to change hands during the Korean War, Kaesong. Today, Kaesong is a relatively common stopping point for tourists. The city lies just 10 kilometers away from the joint security area at Panmunjom and is the southernmost city governed by the DPRK. Kaesong, however, wasn't always a mere tourist attraction. Almost a millennia and a half ago, the area that would one day become Kaesong came under the rule of the Kingdom of Silla, one of the three kingdoms of Korea. During this period, it took the name Songak-gun or Songak County and remained as such for another three centuries. As Silla began to recede, Songak-gun took center stage as, in 898, it was proclaimed the capital of a new rebel state, later becoming the capital of what would be known as the Kingdom of Taebong in 901, although the capital moved from Songak to Chorwon in 905. By 918, Taebong was superseded by the Koryo Kingdom, which named Kaesong as its capital city. Kaesong would go on to serve as the heart of the first dynasty to rule over a unified peninsula. The remains of the Koryo-era imperial palace still exist just north of the modern city today. After the fall of the Koryo dynasty in 1392, Kaesong faded into relative obscurity as the Choson dynasty replaced the Koryo dynasty, ruling Korea from Hansong, modern-day Seoul, until 1897. During the Second World War and the occupation of Korea by the Japanese, Kaesong remained part of Gyeonggi province. After the war, Korea was divided, and Kaesong found itself part of US-administered Korea, just south of the 38th parallel. However, in 1951, conflict erupted once more in Korea. The Korean War saw the Korean People's Army take Kaesong within the first days of the conflict. It would later be retaken by the UN, and eventually, a second time by the Korean People's Army, with the support of the Chinese. The city of Kaesong holds the hopes of peace in Korea, as General Ridgeway meets the Allied delegation for ceasefire talks before their departure. A white top circus tent erected by the Reds among Pan Munjom's mud huts. A square mile of heavily guarded flatlands forms neutral territory. Once the war had fallen into a stalemate, Peace negotiations began at Kaesong, eventually being moved to nearby Panmunjom, where a final armistice was signed in 1953. Kaesong now found itself part of North Huanghe province, and both sides redrew their provincial borders along the new demilitarized zone. However, Kaesong today looks markedly different to the rest of the cities in the DPRK. Why is that? Well, during the Korean conflict, the US military bombarded cities in the north relentlessly. Important cities such as Pyongyang, Nampo, Wonsan, Hamhung and Heiju were all but destroyed by the bombing. The city of Saniwon, not too far from Kaesong, was 95% destroyed during the war, according to US Air Force estimates. Kaesong, however, was left untouched, since it was considered at the time to be a southern city. So, when the conflict ended and Kaesong came under the administration of the DPRK, the city had more or less survived unscathed. While the rest of the north underwent a large-scale rebuilding effort under the banner of the Cholima movement, which saw many of Korea's largest northern cities rebuilt in classic Soviet socialist style, Kaesong, despite expanding during this period, was still centered around its centuries-old, old city. Because it survived the intense air raids of the Korean War, Kaesong today is home to many important heritage sites, including, most notably, the Manwalde Palace. The ruins of the palace at Manwalde are just as much of a tourist attraction for locals as for foreigners. It was from here, centuries ago, that the entire Korean peninsula, from Pektusan to Jejudo, was governed. The tomb of King Kongmin, situated just outside of Kaesong, 
is the tomb of the 31st king of the Koryo dynasty and his wife, the Mongolian princess Queen Nogu. The tombs have been kept in their original condition and date back to 1372. Perhaps the most distinctive feature of Kaesong is Namdaemun, or South Gate. It is the only surviving gate of the old city of Kaesong. As with many Korean cities, Kaesong was once surrounded by a defensive wall, punctuated by these ornately designed gates. Songgyungwan Academy was once one of Imperial Korea's most prestigious educational centres. It's since been converted into the Kaesong Koryo Museum, which houses many artefacts from the surrounding area and is itself a stunning example of traditional Korean architecture and design. Today, Kaesong is comfortably part of North Huanghe Province. Although Kaesong has never been the provincial capital, it's certainly the most distinctive city in the region. The old city, far from being preserved as a museum piece, is still a functioning part of this bustling settlement. Kaesong is also one of the DPRK's most visited cities by foreign tourists, as it serves as a great base for trips to Panmunjom and the Concrete Wall, a lookout where tourists are shown views of military defences constructed on the southern side of the DMZ. Kaesong may just be the DPRK's most beautiful city. Far from the hustle and bustle of life in urban Pyongyang, with no hint that the city lies just 10 kilometres north of the front line of a technically active war. Outside Kaesong itself, the DPRK's beautiful southwestern countryside envelops the city. The nearby Pakyon Falls are especially noted for their beauty. Part of the Ahobiryong mountain range, this region is sometimes referred to as the Kumgangsan of Kaesong, referring to the internationally famous Kumgang region in Korea, renowned for its natural beauty. Kaesong, however, has a sadness to it. The city is mere kilometres from the demilitarised zone, and yet, in a real sense, it couldn't be further away from the southern half of Korea. In a way, Kaesong is representative of how stark Korea's division really is, falling from the capital of a unified country to a frontline city in a country at war. Thanks very much for watching. We've just hit 1,000 subscribers on this channel, which is pretty mad. Actually, we've just hit 2,000 since I started writing the script, which is twice as mad. Please check out my other videos in the DPRK Explained series, where I've covered the Pyongyang Metro, Air Koryo, and the Korean State Railway. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed, and let me know what other DPRK topics you'd like to see me do a video on next. Thanks for watching.